In this video, I demonstrate the construction of a two-axis robot arm base. One axis allows for rotation, while the other enables tilting of the arm. The first axes are powered by NEMA 23 stepper motors and custom-designed gearboxes. I start by assembling the base part, which can be attached to a table later on. To connect it with other parts, I use inserted nuts, which can be easily melted into the designated holes with a soldering iron. Next, I prepare the output from the gearbox and place a bearing on it. Since we are using 3D printed parts, it's important to reinforce them with metal components. Returning to the base, I insert several balls so that the gearbox can move easily on them, reducing friction. Additionally, I have a pre-made split ring planetary gear for the gearbox, and I make sure to lubricate everything thoroughly to minimize friction. The output then goes on to the first stage of the gearbox. The base, which I've already prepared, is then connected to the output and the rest of the gearbox. When everything is firmly in place, I secure the two parts together with bolt screws. Moving on to the front of our first axis, I add a 6mm steel ball to the 3D printed part and ensure it stays in place. Finally, I proceed with the assembly of the next part, which in this case has a dash of color due to the use of leftover 3D printing material. Inserted nuts are added here to accommodate the second axis later. This part can now be connected to our first axis and we can see that it moves easily on the balls. The weight is transferred through the balls into the base and table so it does not burden the gearbox. This is what the fully assembled first axis looks like and it's ready for the next step. For the next axis, we need to connect and reinforce some parts. To reinforce the 3D printed parts, I use cut stainless steel rods. The holes are designed in a way that prevents them from being easily dislodged, but with a hammer and some force, it shouldn't be a problem. I reinforced the bracket holding the second gearbox with two iron rods. After reinforcing both parts individually, they can be combined and the whole thing connected with two more iron rods. Now we can connect the bracket for the second gearbox to our first axis. In total, we have 18 fastening points with the first axis and several fastening points connecting the two second brackets. After everything is screwed together, we can place the second gearbox in the bracket. The gearbox is screwed to the bracket at the outer and inner points. Inserted nuts were also added to the bracket here to connect the last part to the entire base, which will help distribute the load of the robot arm later so that the weight does not rest solely on the gearbox. Once the part is screwed in, a large groove ball bearing is pressed onto it. And there we have our first two axes for a robot arm. Remember to subscribe to the channel. In the upcoming videos, I will test all components and complete the assembly of the robot arm.